Okay, now we're getting into some ice. We got a lot of cinders on the road though, so it's pretty good traction. Look, they put it heavy. Good news is we are at 25 miles an hour, so I can uh, flip my auto chains on. And now we are chained up and got traction. Isn't that handy? All right, get some cinders down. I thought you thought you were the driver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's in there getting that loader right now. So. Okay. Alright. Um so are you wanting to pull onto the cab and we'll hook onto the heel? Probably, probably that would be easiest because the loader would be a lot easier to hook up back here. Yeah. So I'll turn around and then when you get a break, I'll get back on this side. Okay. Okay, I'm going to spin around and get in front so I can hook onto the tractor. And they're going to get the loader, which is conveniently in that driveway right there. And... Uh, They'll grab the other side. Um, you're going to, we're going to want to see if it'll start up. There's nothing leaking. I don't see anything
sec here. Yep. He can go around. You ready to have him start pulling? Yeah. I'll let you direct. Me. Okay. I see, I... Yeah. Ice makes things easier and harder all at the same time. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna fit, yeah. Okay, the road's open. <laughs> Perfect, he's gonna pull it right around. Awesome. Now this guy's going the wrong way. Well, he can go back home now. Yeah. Who needs a tow truck? Woo! Go that way. All the way this way? Just pull him out of the snowbank there. This truck's sitting still good. Turn it that way. Set your brakes. You should be able to drive from there. Yeah. your trailer valve in. I think it's just it was just this pulled. No, this was just pulled a little from being turned like that. So I think you're good. Go ahead and pull up there. That's good. Make sure you got lights. Can you uh, turn your hazards on? We'll make sure all your lights work. Good. Got it. Make sure that front axle is still where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Didn't slide on the spring. Nothing's bent. No, you're you're good. Yeah. Yeah. It's I got it. I can pop those clips off. And we can take it off right there.
there's that. empty so there's a whole trailer load stuff in that's my thought okay Yeah. Wait. No wait. Oops, sorry. That's all right. Watch. Now he's gonna get pulled over for no IFTA sticker. to that turnaround with you and make sure you get turned around and back out of there with no problems then uh you're on your own yeah perfect Thanks, yep hey. no problem okay we're gonna go down to the turnaround area down here where he can get spun around and make sure he gets turned around and back on the road with no issues because uh, he's got to go back the other way that he came from. So I still got my auto chains running. Um, just because it is a bit icy here. And with the auto chains, I can go up to uh, 35 miles an hour and I can engage them at anything up to 25 miles an hour. So if I'm 25 miles an hour or below, I can flip the switches and engage them. Like here, we'll turn them off. This is wet. No point in beating on the chains. And then we get up here where it's icy, as long as we're at 25 miles an hour below, we can flip those switches and we have chains again. That's the huge advantage. If I had to put chains on, um, I'd have to run them on the pavement so that I have them on the ice. And guys like that there, once he got up, up here and realized, oh, there's this icy stretch, flip your switches and you have chains. But obviously right here, once you see it, there's nowhere to stop and put on chains. So... Before we start going down this side, see how it's all ice, 25 miles an hour, flip our switches, and we got auto chains. Go like downhill into a turn. Would you have stopped and put on chains there? No, but I did. Turn them off. Okay, this is the viewpoint. This is the best turnaround spot for him because uh, he can get completely around before he gets back onto the road and head up and I you should not have any trouble here. Plenty of traction, but we'll make sure. Been waiting a while, but I'd imagine he's taking it really easy now. So uh, while we wait, auto chains. Yes, 
They are awesome. Thank you. Uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Like I said in the previous video I did about the auto chains, they are so worth it in driver safety and that right there is the perfect use case scenario for them. We're not in a snowstorm. The whole road's not snowy and icy where you need to chain up, you know, the whole way over the mountain, but you get up the mountain a ways and all of a sudden there's patches of pretty good ice uh, for a hundred yards, 200 yards. I think the longest stretch is like a quarter mile. No one's gonna pull over and chain up for a hundred yards or even a quarter mile. They're gonna go for it. Uh, and sometimes that doesn't work out as you saw, where if you had the auto chains, when you see that, it's simply when you're on it, flip the switches, you have the chains, uh, your, you've got your traction and you're safe as can be. And then as soon as you get off of it back onto wet road, turn them off, they go away and uh, you're not beating your chains and all that on the dry pavement road and you're not beating up the road and all that. They are, they are so worth it in a driver safety scenario. Uh, from one, an accident like that, for two, uh, sitting in the chain up areas as cars and trucks are coming in and out and all that. I don't have to stop at the chain up areas. I can drive right on by. They, they work amazing. I've been running them for, I don't remember how long. I'll put down right here how long I've been running them for. Zero issues, highly recommend. Okay, here he is. See, it looks good from this side if you don't mind that bumper. All right, he's out of here to go try it again. Now I'll turn around and follow him over because I need to get to the other side of the hill. All right, let's head back up and see how round two goes. Look at the views up here though. I love it up here. Look at that, in the 20 minutes it took us to go down the hill and come back up after turning around, the ice is pretty well gone. We're back to wet road. This is right where he, he was sitting. But look at, that's a whole lane of wet road where there's grip. And that quarter mile of ice that was there is now like 50 feet. He's definitely taking it easier this time. So that guy, he's been driving for uh, 20 years and it's his first ever accident, he said. And his route is back and forth over this mountain delivering to the stores in Central Oregon. So. He does this hill every day and knows it very, very well. Definitely no rookie to driving for this mountain. Uh, the ice and those little icy ruts just got him today. So uh, we got him out of there. He made it back over the second time, no problem. And now uh, he's headed home. But I gotta say, huge thank you, DOT guys. Uh, you made that very, very easy. One, for traffic control. Two, for the loader to come up and spin the back end of that trailer around. Uh, so that all I had to do was pop the truck at an angle out of the, the snow bank there so it didn't rip the whole fender off when we did. And that made it super fast and easy. Uh, the highway was completely closed for I think all of like a minute and a half. Uh, that went about as good as it could have gone. And I just cut off some extra plastic pieces, um, made sure everything was good to go, and we're out of here, so. See, getting icy again on the downhill. Now we're safe.